Hello everybody, this is Bajura Nephilim with XC Gaming, with another episode of Flight of the Nephilim Terra Enigma. In the last episode, we have been walking through this haunted little ghost town for a while. We found some stuff, we killed some stuff, and some more stuff. Profit. Yes, we are rich, actually. And then I was going to go outside to explore some more. So, here we go. North side. Be representing, yo. Um, eh, we're just gonna scavenge and loot all the house houses. Nothing wrong with stealing from the dead. Explorers have been doing that for ages. Large bulb. I wanna hide. Whimper. Hmm, being given a large bulb, that does not bode well. By game logic. I'm, f I'm glad we found that light spear, that is some good stuff. And we are grinding the cash up. Would you... There we go. Easy bree, easy peasy lemon squeezy. More effective against small enemies. As stated in our journey manual thingy. Hey, this is not fair. I'm stuck. He's gonna stun lock me in a corner and kick my ass. Yeah, summon the ghosts. <laughs> See if I can. Now for a weapon that can kill them. Whoops. <laughs> oh, good. Ooh. Handy. And we cannot leave through here. We actually have to go back again and then. As long as I don't get poisoned, things will be fine. Damn. We are getting rich. Real rich. Because, um... Yeah, these guys drop so much loot. Now, everything has become more expensive. That's called inflation. Even in games we have it. And, uh, but we're keeping up with our salary quite nicely. Excuse me, I uh, I know that I'm drinking in every episode pretty much, but um, well, my lips are really uh, chapped is the word that I'm looking for. Dry, chapped and broken and they hurt a bit and oh, Bajura, oh, want me to hold your hand, you little... Well, I'm just trying to get it over with and rehydrate them a bit. Yes, should be fine. Um, let's see, maybe we should go this way. Oh, I forgot the strength of potion, let's use that now. Why would you even equip, equip it? Like, I don't get it. Why would you want to equip it? Cemetery. This whole town is one big cemetery. I don't know why they need a specific spot for it. Aha! Magic rock. We have to wait till the red alert goes to orange and then back to green again. Our mini map will will appear again. Whoopsie. 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 Yeah. There we go. Hey, I can actually. Uh... Ooh. Oh, that's how you got there. Okay. Okay. Hey. 
hey. There's nothing visual, uh, visible here, rather. Which means there must be stuff here that is hidden. Um, and before I die of poison. Yes, I have poison cure. I might want to use the teleport pin and go back and, uh... Yeah, I actually might. I really should, actually. Not even a single doubt in mind. That I should go back before I go face any big bosses. And now actually seems the best time, so I'm just gonna use that, that pin, um... Let's see if it's any good. I can select a jewelry box from here as well, but I figured that um, I might as well do it from here. That's my chair squeaking. You spell, yes. Oogie boogie 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 boogie. Uh oh. So it teleports you outside of the dungeon. Oh, whoops. Well, sure. I'll just go to the the village and uh, stock up on provisions. Is there anything over here? Can I still cross the animals? Are they still here? They actually still are. Hmm. There we go. I want some poison cures as well, just in case. Give me one second, people. One second. Ah, man, drop the controller. And we're back, sorry for that brief interruption. And I should have gone to a bed, but no, no sweat, I have some uh, stuff and things and such. And uh, yeah, did the pin disappear? Yeah, the pin disappear. I wonder what the other pins will be for. Um, yeah, I walked back to the desert and then it just instantly teleported me back into the into the village, so no uh, no uh, walking behind girls and stuff like that. No chasing little girls around. Aww. My hobby. Anyway, let's uh, think. Think, Bajura, think. If I do not... If I do not mistake... I need to go in here, there. There. Care for the tables. Go inside the chimney. <laughs> kind of boggles me. Chimney has a very clear use. It's a fireplace, and it, it's for the for the venting of the gases and the excess heat and stuff. But nope, doorway. Besides, you live in a desert. What would you need a chimney for to begin with? You're not fooling anybody. You little... Now, I would like to refrain from League of Legends references in... in other games. But... If that isn't the little brother of Lee Sin, I don't know what it is. He just kicks and homes at me wherever I go. Um, yes. Was there anything in this house to begin with? I cannot remember being in here. Me not remembering does not mean I haven't been. It says more about my memory sometimes than about anything else. No, I have not been in here. Happy I actually did. 
Those things are annoying. Chun chuns. Chun chun. That actually reminds me of another game, uh, Ragnarok Online. Chun chuns in there are like little flies. Which, if you are level 1, you should leave alone. But is hilarious if you see newbies attack one. And they just instantly get murdered. Too bad the game didn't hold up so well. It was one big grind fest. And then they implemented some weird classes that nobody cared about. And that was pretty much the death of it. At least that's what I think happened. I don't even remember properly. It's been so long. If there's so many dead people on the graveyard, why are there so many dead people in the town as well? Happy I stocked up on the poison cure. Poison was eliminated from the world, I might hope. Kinda done with all the poison stuff. Hey! Probably because the girl is dead. Kill all the zombies in here. That's how I came in. Nothing I can read, nothing I can push. Can I push the mud? It seems we have found ourselves a mystery, gang. Let's split up. Weird. Maybe if... Is it because I'm holding the banner? Because uh, ghosts don't like... Uh, or holy seal. Because ghosts don't like it, right? Wine. It's a no-go. Curious, really curious. Then I would not dare say where I should be going. F Did I miss any buildings? I probably have. There's quite a few. Boom. I've been in this one, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Give the dog a bone or anything, cliche as that might sound. This goes around, they're not even trying to hide this from me. So I could pretty safely assume there's not a lot to hide. I don't want to be fighting those. There's nothing else there, is there? No go, the mutt won't listen. Is the girl even alive? Should I talk to the old man? I forgot what his name was. Uh, this one was empty, right? Nothing in here. Whoops. And there's one thing that bothers me a bit, is that the buildings... Any building that I could go in, 
in before the ghost town appeared. Yeah, that's probably the right, cho right choice of words, before the ghost town appeared. Every building had a different layout. At least the ones that I could enter had. So that's a bit... I don't know, it, that bothers me a bit. Because you have no points of reference, no things you can go back to uh, in the way that, you know... For instance, normally I would go to the room where I first met the kid to find her again. But oh, wait a moment, is that? Mm, it's a bit far-fetched, but that looks like the light. Looks a bit like uh, like a door. Nope. Mm, that zombie can just stay there for all I care, because I do not care at all. Stab. And uh, this was the biggest one, so... The biggest building, that is. That's why I can't help but wonder if there's anything in here that I've missed. I must admit that I can't wait to actually start doing some different games as well. Just multiple games, like uh, some other RPGs, like some Final Fantasies. A friend of mine suggested Secret of Mana, I believe? And I have never played Chrono Trigger before. Is that what it's called? Chrono Trigger? I'm not sure. And what is up with this guy? There's still nothing I can do with or against him. Is there anything to him at all? Or the traveler that was with me? Is there anything to him? Uh, other games, yeah, probably some other RPGs as well, because uh, this is cool and all, but I just like, you know, some... Uh, some different stuff every now and then. Not saying that I'm sick of this game, not by far shot, I freaking love it. It's just that sometimes the whole searching for stuff because it's a bit cryptic. Oh, well, it annoys me or I'm a bit like, eh, I'm not in the mood for it today. Oh yeah, sure. I can... Ah! You away. Right. Is there anything in here before? Um. Must. Oh, yeah, this is where the Magi Rock was before, so. Well, people, I must admit to my grave shame that we haven't made a lot of progress, if any, at all. All we did was uh, grind a bit, go back to buy some bulbs and find the dog. Now, obviously the dog... That's a good thing, right? Because we are headed in the right direction or we have to find something. The problem is I just have no idea what I should find at the moment. That the girl, but... My guess is that the girl actually died as well, and that it's like her ghost, it's like the sixth sense all over again. I've never actually watched that movie, I should. And, uh, yeah, so how do I get the dog away from there? Like a dog whistle or a bone? <laughs> Game logic, right? Right. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like would be greatly appreciated. And... If you have something to say, please post so in the comment sections. I'd like, I just love to have some comments every now and then. Things that can improve, things you thought were fun, things you think I should do because Bajor is blind as a bat. No problem, happens, right? And uh, if you'd like to see me, uh, well, dabble around a bit more because what we're going to do is uh, try and find our next, our next clue, really. If you would like to see that, or if you would like to see Xterion and Zarki play their games, please subscribe to our channel. If I may make a request, 
It would be greatly appreciated if you would share our channel with some of your friends who might seem interested in watching as well. We would love to have a lot, of, well a lot, we would love to have a few people as an audience that, you know, maybe would comment or something or just enjoy the videos in general. If not then, well, you don't have to, it's a friendly request, nothing of it. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all next time.